Dear friends, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you for joining us today for the third meeting of the Creative Lab Awakening the Souls of Our Nations. We are really grateful for all the participating groups who've been holding this intention and those who are joining this work of awakening the souls of all nations. Over to you, Annette, to lead us in meditation. Thank you, dear Alexander. <clears throat> so, let's bring our attention inward with a few deep, calm and regular breaths. We contact our inner center. From this point, we relax the physical body. Calm the emotions and free the mind from all thoughts. Let us now raise our consciousness upwards. Expand it. and perceive ourselves as a soul. We are the soul in incarnation, fully present. Now we focus our energy and our consciousness in our heart. And in the fire of love that burns at its center. And while our names are called now, we link our hearts from heart to heart, weaving the sacred tapestry of the group heart. Katja, Alexander, Uta, Margo, Helen, Grete, Efrat, Daniela, Brigitte, N, Antonella, Barbara, Carlos, 
Catherine, Cheryl, Christine, Daniel, Darcy, Diana, Dot, Jillian, Jan, Jo, Jocelyn, John, Judith, Judy, Karen, Catherine, Kit, Leslie, Maria, Bart, Maria Christina, Marcia, Natalie, Richard, Robert, Robin, Rosita, Sanchai, Silvana, Uri, and Annette. Let's feel the energy flow within the united group heart. We reach towards each other's mind through telepathic mind waves, synchronizing into group mind. We are a group and as a group we link with our fellow workers around the world. A planetary connective web in service. We are a group and as a group we link with our guides and co-workers on the Ashramic realm, tuning our group heart with the planetary heart center.
as a group together with our co-workers, we open up our sensitivities to the high energies of Shambhala, the center where the will of God is known. Tapping into this part of the divine plan that is intended for us. Now we recollect ourselves in our group field. Feeling this group being a part of the new group of world servers. and in gratitude and joyful service, we end the meditation. Gratitude. Thank you, Annette. Yes, welcome everyone to our third lab session. We are coming together once a month for this work that is very much needed now, the work of cooperating with the higher consciousness of our nations. We want this approach to be an experiential one. Uh, each time we will take a certain aspect of this experimental work and get to know it specifically through a meditation. So I will not talk a lot, but a few things I would like to, to say. Um, we would like this lab to be like a step-by-step -step training for spiritual citizenship, giving some basic tools for building well-functioning group units, which uh, are sadioli called groups of best citizens. There are, of course, many ways to work with our nations. And of course, some of you work already perhaps even for a long time in your own way, with your own meditation outline and uh, your own style. And it will be very good to share with each other about our various processes. And we are thinking how to do this, how to, how to be able to share our 
our materials, our ideas, our tools. Um, and uh, Alexander will say a few words about this at the end. Um, for now, I just want to mention that since the last webinar, we have a few developments that we know of. Uh, a little group in Denmark having started, a little group in the UK, um, the US group that uh, the triangle that uh, that existed already has received a few more uh, participants. There is some touch in Japan also, and there is the Australia Victoria Goodwill group that is also working with the Australian soul. And we will be happy to hear about any other developments. And we will also um, give a corner, a niche in the monthly webinars to, to share uh, our various works. So today we will hear a bit about the work in Canada and Margot will show us a bit about this. Over to you, Margot. Thank you, dear Uta. The seeds of the idea of a group of best citizens who constitute, in effect, the conscious self of the nation, and who, as a group, look inward, upward, and outward to formulate a vision for their nation, have been ready to plant for some years now. They landed in two minds and hearts, 3,500 kilometers apart here in Canada, approximately around the time Uta was editing her book, Awaken the Will to Love. One of our group, Frida Kemp, who lives in Toronto in the center of Canada, was researching and preparing a presentation on the soul of her city and thought at the time that she would also like to do the same for the soul of Canada one day. I live on an island off the west coast of Canada and learned about the idea of a group of best citizens from Uta while we were working together. I began to ponder how to begin a group in Canada. Although we had never met, Frida's name kept coming to mind Yet it wasn't until she spoke up on the first creative lab that we finally connected and the seed sprouted and took root. Frida took the initiative, called the first meeting of about 20 people on June 29th this year, and the following slides will outline what has evolved since then. We've been following meditations laid out by Uta in her book, Awaken the Will to Love, to form a group of best citizens as outlined by Roberto Asagioli. We've been participating in creative labs and other meditations and webinars on the subject of souls of nations. We've also been developing our own meditation and affirmation for invoking the soul of Canada. And aligning with the solar angel of Canada in meditation and noting impressions. Our esoteric research has included building a profile of Canada. And we've done this by creating a chart, an astrological chart based on the date of founding. The astrology of our group 
based on our first meeting. And we've identified the soul and personality rays of Canada and our currently useful understanding, although the Tibetan didn't state this definitely, is that we have a second ray soul and a seventh ray personality. We've reviewed the founding of Canada and looked at its founding peoples. We're beginning to examine its major crises and initiatory events and plan to research the lives of key best citizens who played a role in the expansion of consciousness of the country. We're beginning to explore Canadian culture and values and plan to explore artists, writers, musicians, painters who helped express the soul of Canada through their art. We had a very painful look at Canada's glamours and shadow side, including the treatment of its Indigenous peoples racial prejudice, and treatment of minorities. But in conclusion, we affirm Canada is fulfilling its sole purpose and stands among nations as a forerunner of right human relations. In union with the soul of Canada, we radiate truth, love, justice, harmony, and order to all nations. We envision these blessings being received by all lives within all realms. Thank you. Over to you, Uta. Uta, you are muted. Yes, I didn't find the button. <laughs> Uh, wow, Margot, this is really impressive. Thank you so much. What a beautiful work the Canadian group is doing, how much you have already achieved in this, uh, this little time. And the blessing went right through. Thank you very much. Hmm. Yes, and it's a good, um, gives a good taste of uh, what I want to talk about today, uh, which is building a group field which is both sacred and structured, ordered. Seems you have done quite some work already along both lines. Yeah, the work with the, with the national higher consciousness must, of course, be a sacred activity. And um, this is what we have been stressing in our previous two webinars, um, building a sacred space, a temple. And today we want to look at uh, the other aspect that uh, in our experience needs to complement the, the sacredness, which is um, a research character. Um, because at the moment, at least, um, a group of best citizens is basically a research group. It's experimental. It's a laboratory. <clears throat> Only it's quite different from a 
from a usual laboratory in a scientific setup we have controlled stable conditions we have a observing scientist and a clearly defined object under observation a defined method of observation and measuring and recording devices that are calibrated and there's a clear distinction of course between all of these aspects we do know that even in the most hardcore sciences the inner state of the observing scientist uh, is now recognized as having an influence on the experiment but in our research the inner state of the of the scientist is uh, is everything um, because our inner state our subjectivity makes up most of the parameters of the whole experiment because we are in ourselves and in our as a group we are a lab in the in our groupness and we are the observing scientist and we are the measuring and recording device and we are even part of the object under observation it's through our own thoughts and feelings that we observe the national entity of which we ourselves are a part so it's all compounded together so let us try to untangle this a bit to isolate the various factors we can see our group field as being our laboratory and who is the observing scientist who is conducting the research it's ideally the unified conscious self of the group and what is our research device our microscope it's our meditation our meditative inquiry and our registering device consists actually of our own personal sensors our sensations and our astral and mental impressions and also the way we translate and record our findings is through us first through our own brain hemispheres and then through a process of refined sharing in our group downloading the higher impressions so we see that we have here many aspects to be calibrated in our group laboratory and all this is being done through our process of personal and group alignment we are so used to do this as a standard meditation procedure and um, here in this work with our nations um, this alignment becomes like a conscious calibrating process for this specific purpose it's through our alignment that we create a high quality lab an attuned telepathic group field and it's through this practice that we make our lab coherent and our measuring devices more accurate in the next sessions we may perhaps look at different aspects of of all this in more detail for now let us just hold in our consciousness the idea of uh, of a temple which is also a lab the sacredness being complemented by an ordered structural approach um, and let us 
uh, we will do a meditation now um, that is built on the meditation of the last uh, months. We will do these meditations. Each one is building on, on the one before that. And this time we will focus on the structural aspect of it, the calibrating aspect of it. Uh, the last two times we have, before that, we have set the tone by this beautiful mantra by DK that starts with, they come and stand. And this time we have incorporated parts of it into our calibrating process now uh, in the meditation.